Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we are going to be making a special Valentine's Day cookie with a surprise inside. Everybody's favorite, Hershey Kisses, and not what you're thinking. We are going to take two of our favorites and mix them into one. So you know everyone's favorite, one of my favorite cookies is the Mexican wedding cookies they're called, or tea cookies with the powdered sugar on the outside. We are going to make those to today, but we are going to put a surprise inside. So the perfect thing for your Valentine to people will think it's just a powdered sugar cookie, but nope, surprise, there's a kiss inside. So let's get started. I'm going to start. I've got two sticks of softened butter in the mixer here. So I'm going to get started mixing those. I'm going to add half a cup of sugar. And let that whip, whip up. I'm going to scrape the sides down real quick here. We want this to get nice and light and fluffy. Move this out of the way. Scrape all the sides of the bowl down, get everything in here. I have a six quart mixer, so sometimes when I'm not making a lot, things get spread out. Give that a good whip. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, I'm very gen uh, generous with the vanilla. Get that in there. And let that get all mixed in. Yum! I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I'll slow, slow this down a little bit so we don't have a flour cloud. And put that in. Slowly mix that in. There we go. I'm going to put a pinch of salt. I use unsalted butter, so I always like to add a little pinch of salt when I'm baking, especially with things that are sweet. So put a little pinch of salt in there and get this all mixed up together. Oh, yum! These are going to be so good and everyone is going to be surprised that you have a little love inside. Okay. Okay, we've got that going. Now I have a cup here of chopped pecans, finely chopped pecans. You can use pecans or walnuts, whatever you like, whatever you have. I happen to have pecans and I like pecans, so I'm going to use those and mix those in real quick. And there you go, cookie dough, ready to go. So to this, now I would recommend you refrigerate this for a couple of hours before you start to form your cookies, but we are not going to wait that right this second. We're going to form one right now to show you what we're going to do here. So let's take a scoop of dough. I'm just going to take a scoop of dough. You know how many co uh, cookies that I make all the time? I can guesstimate it. So I'm going to take my dough. Now it's pretty soft, so like I would refrigerate this, but let's just do a sample. We're going to flatten it out a little bit, take our kiss, put it in the middle, cover him all up, and boom, voila. I'll make him the shape of maybe a little mountain, maybe a little kiss. Now, take this and bake them. Put them on the cookie sheet. Now, you could form all your cookies like this and then refrigerate them for a couple of hours. That would be... Um, I, you, that would also be a possibility because the dough is really nice and soft now to, to do the filling um, and then let it set up in the fridge before you bake them. So you're going to bake this till it's set but not brown. You don't really want it brown and pull it out about 10, 12 minutes depending on your oven. Pull it out, let it cool for about a minute and then we're going to toss it in powdered sugar just like the how they are when they're a little slightly warm. And you could also toss these for a little change, toss half of them in powdered sugar when they're done and toss the other half. You can mix some cocoa and some powdered sugar and mix it up. So some are white with the, just the powdered sugar and some are chocolate and sugar on the outside. So just an idea to change it up a little bit. So I will be back and show you what this looks like once we get it baked off. Okay, so I just pulled these cookies out of the oven and we are going to do a little tossing here 
with our sugar. So just let them cool down. They've been out of the oven maybe for like a minute. So I'm going to take one here, toss it in the powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, there you go. And then I made another bowl with uh, some baking cocoa and powdered sugar. And I put it through a, a sieve so that there were no clumps in the cocoa. And I'm going to mix them up so that on our plate, we're going to have some dipped in cocoa. So people have a hint of what is to come with our surprise chocolate kiss on the inside. And then some with the white, just with the powdered sh uh, sugar, like everyone's favorite. So here we go. Do another one with just the powdered sugar. Oh my gosh. These are so delicious. And you know, everybody loves these. And this is just the extra surprise twist with the kiss on the inside. Now I uh, formed these balls when the dough was soft and I put the whole tray in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. And then when I put them in the oven, um, they were cold and the tray was cold. So it took about 22 minutes to actually bake these because they were cold. So just watch them because you don't want them to get brown. Um, but oh my gosh, how great do those look? A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of powdered sugar, and then you know they have a surprise inside. The Hershey's Kisses are inside. So I'm just gonna toss these, and this is all the cookies that that recipe made. Of course, my husband tasted the dough, loved it, says it tastes like a pecan sandy, but I think it tastes like a Mexican wedding cookie or a tea cake, and there you go. This is your cookie with the love inside for Valentine's Day. So everyone's favorite cookie, or one of them, um, but with an extra twist with the yummy kiss inside. So let's, I'm gonna cut into one, one of these and let's see how our kiss looks inside. So let me see. I will take one of these and we're gonna cut it because they're literally still warm. Oh my goodness. And look at that. We have our cookie with our kiss inside. Oh my gosh, with the surprise inside. How awesome and cute is that? Let's take a little bite. Mmm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Highly recommend making these for your sweetheart this Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And we love it when you watch all our shows. And we have um, lots of great tips and tricks for entertaining. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Hostess Coach. Spread a little love.